Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a requested video and it's not something I've ever done before but I posted a picture on Instagram not too long ago, a photograph of our kind of like our food shopping haul um, and a lot of you guys asked for me to do a video to show you what we buy on kind of our regular food shops. So that's what I'm doing for you today guys. It's a little bit awkward because we have such a small kitchen that I haven't got like a like a breakfast bar or haven't got like an island and all these like videos that I ever watch everybody does so it's like really easy to try and film it so I've had to try and get a bit creative with how I'm going to do this so I've got all my food shopping bags here and then I'm going to show you and then I'm going to put it over here so I'm going to have like a bit of a rotation system going on and I feel like my hair's going to annoy me because it's a bit too heavy on the fringe today anyway so I'm going to show you everything that I've bought not everything is healthy some things are but um, some stuff as well I do actually get for Dan because he isn't doesn't like to be quite as healthy as me but he likes to have treats and stuff so anything that's kind of really naughty or something that's many for him I do shop with Ocado so I do shop online and there's a couple of reasons for that one is because we like to have as much organic um, and free range produce as possible they give the most options and their most varies varies varied with their products so that's why we shop with them the other reason that i shop online is because i can monitor our spending a lot easier so every time i used to go into a supermarket which is what i loved doing when we first moved in together i loved going food shopping but i was always spending an absolute fortune because i was a sucker for any sort of offers and i just kept um, overspending really on our budget so I thought if I was doing it online I can monitor the spending and then at the end I can make sure I've actually got like plenty of meals and I've got like a varied amount of stuff instead of just kind of grabbing anything that I was attracted to and I seem to buy not so good food either I was buying quite a lot of naughty stuff so doing this actually keeps me on track to get um, good healthy kind of stuff decent meals and also keep a track of our budget as well also I'm not like um, just promoting a cardo like I'm not sponsored by them or anything I just really like them but I have got like a refer a friend kind of scheme thing that they do and I think it's if you spend something like I can't remember either 50 or 80 pounds if you've never shot with them before I'll leave the link down below and because if you do a refer a friend you can get 20 pounds off your first order so like I said I'll have that link down below for you guys if you're interested in giving a cardo a go also you get a free tea towel and every now and then I get like free chocolates or we had a free bottle of champagne which wasn't very good for us but for most people most people probably do drink champagne so they do like little treats or they throw something free in every now and then so I got like a bag of pop chips once that I hadn't tried so they're pretty good at their customer service so I'm going to stop talking because I'm aware a lot of my food's probably going to get a little bit warm because it's quite warm today and I need to start getting things in my fridge and freezer so I'm just going to grab stuff and show you so in my first bag um, I've got they do also split things up into fridge and freezer is I've bought the Yeo Valley Greek style vanilla yogurt, some uh, organic closed cup mushrooms, an organic cucumber, some Waitrose uh, Dutchy organic cherry tomatoes. That is something Ocado do um, link with Waitrose for their food. Another Waitrose Dutchy organic little gem lettuce, some organic green beans. I've got some Waitrose fresh firm and flavour some baby tomatoes with herb and butter. Now they're not organic, but they're just really, really easy. Um, some organic free range chicken breasts. They're £5.97, and these are the best free range chicken breasts I ever get. Like Sainsbury's is good, but they're usually like six to, they're like seven pounds on those, and they're really small. So they're actually quite good for money. Um, some organic celery. A bunch of organic juicy oranges, because every now and then, generally at the weekend, I will um, juice them and just have some fresh orange juice. Then I have some organic hummus. I'm obsessed with hummus. Then a uh, cantaloupe. Now I don't get these organic because they've got such a thick skin. So if there's a piece of like fruit or veg that's got a really, really thick skin on it, then I'm less likely to buy organic if we're trying to save money somewhere else because um, less likely the like pesticides and stuff is going to seep in so because you like chop away so much of that um, on a cantaloupe I don't bother buying it organic then some organic semi skim milk I've got some organic blueberries some organic medium free range eggs some organic peppers this isn't organic but some coleslaw 
one of the Higgity Little Smoked Bacon and Cheddar Quiches. This is for Dan. I can't really have smoked things because anything smoked doesn't um, isn't very good for migraines. So unfortunately I don't have that one, but I have like a vegetarian one. A organic medium cheddar cheese. Sorry, mature cheddar cheese. Another little gems of lettuce. Some organic carrots. And then this is my little higgity little spinach and roasted and red pepper quiche. And they're really good and they're often on deal where you can get two for £3.50. So if you've got like two people in your household and one say is a vegetarian, I'm not a vegetarian, but if someone was a vegetarian and someone isn't, then that's quite a good deal to do because then you don't have to buy two of the big quiches. And they're actually really yummy, so you can get two for £3.50. And sometimes the big ones are about that price as well. Um, I really want to have a go at doing a homemade quiche because I think homemade quiche is incredible, but I just haven't done it yet. Next, I have some of these, um, I don't know if they're called Calio, Calio Organic Lightly Salted Whole Grain Rice Cakes, which I think I showed in my favourite kind of gluten-free um, food video. If you haven't seen that, I'll have that link down below. Then I've got some here, milk chocolate chips. Now, I actually prefer these to be dark chocolate. But I like to mix them with some banana and oats and then like bake it for um, like 15 minutes or so and they're just like a really nice sweet snack. Then something I hadn't tried which is these nutty snacks. They're coconut chips, they're roasted coconut chips. So I thought I would give these a try. They're all natural gluten free ingredients, nothing artificial. So I'm obsessed with coconut um, and it's starting to become one of those real good superfoods. So I've got a pack of those to try. Then I've got here some organic fair trade bananas. And then why you shouldn't be surprised, some of the crunchy organic whole earth peanut butter. Then for Dan, he likes, um, he doesn't really care about what cereals he eats, whereas I have kind of natural oats, um, organic oats for my porridge and stuff. But he has this raisin oats and more. Now I thought that they probably would be okay, but they they have got wheat and stuff in them. So they'd be no good for me where I'm trying to cut up um, some like gluten in my diet. Then I've got here some organic baking potatoes. I'm not the biggest fan of like buying jarred sauces and things, but this actually is a pretty good one. And this is the Meridian Organic Tomato and Basil Organic Pasta Sauce. They've got no added sugar or anything in there, which is really good. They have got agave syrup to make it sweeter, but I like the fact it's suitable for vegans, it's soil association organic and suitable for vegetarian and gluten free. So on a night that I just, I can't be bothered to be making up a sauce, it's just something that's really quick and easy to use and it's also not too expensive. My favourite kind of like cordial juice at the moment, my hair's driving me mad, um, cordial juice at the moment is the Belvoir Raspberry and Lemon Cordial. It's pressed, fr uh, pressed juice, freshly squeezed lemon with no preservatives in it and this is just amazing. I absolutely love it. It is stupidly expensive. It's like £3.50. A little tin of organic sweet corn. And then Dan has the Warburton's seeded, five seeded um, loaf of bread. And this is actually a little bit squished. Um, he does have the little one because he doesn't really actually eat a lot of it. Um, so we only need one of those and it will generally last us a week and sometimes we have to chuck it away as well. Then in my last bag, Dan loves McCoy's. So he's got the, um, this is like the meat pack. So it's got like charcoal chicken, flame grilled steak and bacon scissors. Like Dan is quite a meat eater and before we moved in he would have meat every single day. And then he came and obviously lived with me and that kind of changed so he doesn't get meat as much. Then I like the Walker's Baked Crisps. Every now and then I like to have a bag of crisps. Dan also then really likes the Mr Kipling Cherry Bakewells. I don't really eat these but Dan really likes them. And these are what I have for breakfast. So this is the Jordan's Organic Porridge, the chunky traditional whole jumbo oats. And they do actually taste really, really yummy. And I don't put sugar on them, but I put like a coconut palm um, sugar on top of them just to sweeten them up a little bit. Then for Dan, he likes the Snickers, so he's got some Snickers. There is a tin of tuna we get for Fish Forever. This is the Skipjack Tuna Steaks in spring water. And I like this because it's done with a Poland line as well you know that it's not been, it's like been responsibly sourced, which is important to me. And then the last thing here is these chocolate chip flapjacks from Dove's Farm. And I like these because they're gluten, milk, peanut, egg, and soy free. So um, this is what I would have as like my snack treat at work or something, I'll take that with me.
So that's pretty much it guys, I hope you found this video useful or helpful, give it a thumbs up if you liked it and if you'd like me to do more of these kind of videos where we may be buying some different stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys liked it and make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!